Resonance is really cool. Here I have a basic pendulum on my 3D printer's bed. I wrote a program that lets me control the 3D printer however I want. As you can see, the pendulum is swinging, but it's not swinging very high. This is because we haven't found the resonant frequency of the system. But what is a resonant frequency? And how do we know that we found it? I'll break everything down so it's very easy to understand. The amplitude is how high the pendulum swings. And the frequency is how fast the 3D printer's bed moves back and forth. And now we can see that when the frequency is just right, the system is in resonance, which means the amplitude is at its highest. So how can we find the resonant frequency of this system? We'll start with a very high frequency and slowly lower it until the system resonates. Let's see this in action. So we're starting off with a very high frequency. As the frequency gets lower, you'll see the pendulum swing higher and higher. Here's the graph of the frequency versus the amplitude. You can see the line on the right slowly move to the left as the frequency gets lower and lower. At this stage you can start to see it resonating. And now the amplitude is starting to really increase. And now you can see we've found the resonant frequency. It's kind of insane. Watch what happens though as the frequency continues to decrease. You can see the amplitude dramatically decrease as we get further and further away from resonance. Eventually we get close to zero amplitude as the system is in complete dissonance. But what can we do with the resonance? It's such a cool thing. Is there anything we can make from it? Nikola Tesla was a huge fan of resonant frequencies. In 1935, Tesla claimed that a mechanical oscillator could take down an entire building. Tesla claimed that it could do this with just five pounds of air pressure. I won't be attaching any mechanical oscillators to buildings in this video, but I do have some fun, unique projects that I've never seen anyone else do before. In this video, we're going to see if I can power a marble machine using resonance. I'll be attempting three unique designs. In the first design, I'll try to utilize my existing pendulum. The pendulum has a steel ball attached to a magnet. If I could find a way to release the ball from the magnet at this height, then we have the lift system for the marble machine. I designed some parts and started printing them. Here's my first attempt at a marble releasing mechanism. When the pendulum hits this lever, it drops down this piece, which should knock off the marble from the magnet. Let's try it out and see if it works. It looks like the counterweight is too heavy, so it's not releasing it. Let's remove the counterweight and see if it works. So the issue with this system, besides the fact that it's too complex, is that it takes too long for the piece to fall and release the marble. Let's try a simpler design. This new design reduces the number of moving parts, but it's still too slow. If we think about this from first principles, all we're trying to do is get the marble to go to a higher elevation so that way it could go down the marble track. Let's try out two different designs and see if we get them to work. This design is made to look like a roller coaster, but it has no moving parts. That's what makes it so cool. As you can see, the design is not optimized for 3D printing. This means that I have to go through the painfully annoying process of removing the supports. Thankfully, the company we do sent me their X40 3D printer to try out and use in a video. This 3D printer has a dual extruder setup, which means I can print with two different materials. 
This printer has a huge build volume at 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. It has automatic bed leveling and it's very, very quiet. The track is printed out a normal red PLA, but I'm using this Polymaker Poly Dissolve PVA material for the dissolvable support material. Having a dual extruder 3D printer was a lifesaver for this project. If you want to learn more about the WeDo X40 dual extruder 3D printer, then you can find a link in the description below. I'll also include some instructions for how to set it up. Here you can see the Poly Dissolve PVA material dissolving in water. So let's compare the results between the first version that was printed with normal support material and the second version that was printed on the X40 with the dissolvable support material. You can see that even though it's not optimized for 3D printing, it came out significantly better. All right, let's get back to resonant frequencies and see if we get this thing to work. First, we have to find the resonant frequency of the system. So we'll do that the same way we did with the pendulum. We'll slowly sweep through different frequencies until it resonates. Here you can see it resonating a little bit, but it's still not getting quite high enough. I was a little too optimistic about the height of the track, so we'll try it again with a little bit smaller of a marble track. Let's sweep through the different frequencies again and see if we could get it to go over the hump. With each different system, we have to sweep through the frequencies again to find the resonant frequency. This is because each system has its own natural period. So now you can see the system oscillating and the ball goes over the hump. It did fall off every once in a while, so I sanded it to improve the track. Now that we found the resonant frequency of this system, we could set the printer to only oscillate at that frequency. I've never seen anything quite like this before. When you oscillate this marble machine at the right frequency, the ball is able to go over the hump and reset itself. It could do this indefinitely until the shaking of the 3D printer's bed stops. If we could use the resonant frequency to go up one level, we could also go up multiple levels. Once again, we have to find the resonant frequency of this new system. Once this system is in resonance, the marble will proceed up each different terrace. Theoretically, you could go up like this indefinitely. Now we just need a way for the marble to reset itself once it gets to the top. I don't know how this feels for you, but for me this feels slightly suspenseful wondering when the marble is going to go up to the next level. Let's see if it'll work with two steel ball bearings. It almost works, however, due to the imperfections of the system, there is a chance that one will progress up to the next level faster than the other one. So in conclusion, resonance is really cool. And this is just scratching the surface. 